Hey friends, it's Ocean, and today I'll be showing you some must-have mod overrides that I am loving right now for The Sims 4. Simkatu's book cover replacement replaces the existing book covers in The Sims 4. I love this because it gives our books a more fresh and modern look, so anything between the fictional books or the skill books all have a refresh, and it looks great. Simkatu's flower arrangement override. This is going to replace the default vase that comes with the flower arrangement table when you create a flower arrangement. With this mod override, the vase looks more modern. It's a little bit slimmer and you can also change the vase and the swatches will change as well. Channel 4 Sims Water Can Override. I love gardening in The Sims 4, but I never paid attention to the kind of water can my Sims were watering their plants with. With this override, you will get a new water can. It is a Studio Ghibli Totoro uh, water can for your Sims. I think it is so adorable and I want to see all my Sims use it. It's absolutely a must have. Dear Kim paired and single selfie overrides. Now I've already covered this once before, but new single and paired selfie overrides have been released by Dear Kim. And so I wanted to remind you that those are out and show you a couple of them. These are so, so good in game because you can have new photos and new memories on your wall. The poses do get redundant as anything else. And these poses are just so good. Apricot Rush Offer Rose Default Replacement. Now with this mod, it is going to replace the rose that your sims give other sims when they want to offer them a rose. It just looks more romantic to me, and I love how the mesh is for the rose itself. Apricot Rush Dinner Food Retexture. Now I've covered food retextures by Apricot Rush before, but recently they released their dinner food pack, such as the vegetable dumplings, the taco casserole, the chili, all of those have gotten a new retexture. I love this mod because the retexture is very subtle and it's not too much, but it definitely improves the quality. Speaking of food, I want to introduce you all to Factor. I know you see a sponsor and you want to skip it, but if you're looking for a meal delivery service that sends you pre-prepared nutritious meals, now is a good time to try Factor. Factor is perfect for us gamers who need to have a quick meal on hand that you can eat in just two minutes or less. There's no prep or cleanup and you can stay focused on what you love to do. Factor meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 34 plus meal options and add-ons like smoothies, shakes, and desserts. I personally like the convenience of not having to stress about meal planning and having more variety. Factor meals are fresh and never frozen, which makes them a tastier alternative than a frozen dinner. Get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life by using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. Click my link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. I hope you all enjoy this and thank you Factor for sponsoring this video. Vixated's Tram Override. In my last mod video, I actually had an override for a more Winterfest Christmas theme tram, so I love when this gets replaced. This one in particular has three different swatches. This texture that you see here, which is more older, used, and ran down. There's also a black version and a white version as well, but I love the original olive green. I think it adds that oldness and charm to Willow Creek. Vixated's 
gizmo and grid override most of us do not pay attention to this but when i saw this mod override available i had to have it so as you can see here the gizmo that i have has a black outline and the gizmo itself is white and then looking at the grid you see it's kind of like white but it looks like chalk almost there are multiple colors pink red blue green <laughs> all of those colors that you can recolor these items i love this i just keep it plain white just because the game is like that but i do just love how it just adds something new and fun to my game i don't know i'm just like that but <laughs> you can definitely choose between a plethora of colors to lively your game tote vec vibrant knitting this is a very small mod all it does is raise the vibrance on the knitting as you can see here as opposed to the dull colors it's a very bright red bright green bright purple and i just love this because i love color i love how vibrant that looks so as opposed to the dull version of this i think that this is more saturated vibrant and it looks fun bp nap replacement i love this mod override because it is going to override the default animation that the sims do when they go to take a nap on the love seat the sofa and also their bed i really like this animation override because the sims look a little bit more relaxed and they look like they're really enjoying their nap for once Seriously Sims Sack Lunch Override. This mod is going to replace the original Sack Lunch, the brown paper bag that came with the Sims 4 Parenthood when your Sims go to make a Sack Lunch. I love this mod because you're able to either choose between different color bags, like you could have a pink bag instead of a brown paper bag, or you can choose from three of the Sims 4 lunches the lunch boxes i chose the rocket ship one because i really like the way that that looks and i love that we can actually put food in a lunch box and it operates as the sack lunch Missouri's horse coat default replacement. I'm adding this in here because when I recently posted some gameplay of me playing with my Compton Cowboy household, a lot of you actually asked where my horse's coat was from because it looks slightly different than the original in The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. I love this one better because it actually extenuates the muscles more for the horses and their coat and I think it looks way more realistic than the original version. Tote Vec also has a blood bag retexture. I rarely play with vampires, but if I did, I would definitely use this. In order to use this blood bag, re blood bag retexture, make sure that your sim definitely has a high vampire lore skill because you'll be able to purchase blood bags. And I love this blood bag retexture because it looks like you got it straight out of a hospital. It's more sharper. It just looks better. A lot of these mods are for the visual. It's for the appeal. And I really love the way that this one looks. QMBB Stirring the Pot mod is technically a cooking mod. However, there is a small add-on in addition to that mod where you can have any food register as a grand meal. So if you're in game and it is Harvest Fest or whatever the case, if you just wanna have a grand meal, you no longer have to make an actual grand meal from the stove. You can just have your Sims eat any meal and it will count as a grand meal. I love this mod because I like to make additional sides on Harvest fest and so if your sim decides to just eat the yams on harvest fest or their green beans it will still count as them eating a grand meal and because it does override the way that the grand meal tradition works in the game i thought it would be a great time to implement this especially because i've used it recently in my growing together let's play and that is all I have for you for this edition of mod overrides that I'm loving. Now I will say that all of these can easily go into your mods folder. I create a mods folder specifically for the overrides. And as you can see, we're getting a little full here. And if you'd like to check out my other videos for mod overrides, you can definitely do so. And I'll link them in the description as well for your convenience. But I hope you all found this really helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.